Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Hey guys, I'm the Wise One, and welcome to the second game between JDG and KT Rolster for the World's 2023 Quarterfinals. Let's watch the best moments of this awesome game. Find those moments they don't know. He's managed to sneak in. Cuz now looking for that opportunity. Knight, can he actually find it? Shape Splitter comes through to confuse them, but they will not be confused this time. First blood goes to Cuz. KT are on the ball. Going over, KT, they are still moving up though. Level 5 for Lehens doesn't have that hostile takeover as now they're looking for the fight. Grand Entrance is going to connect. There's the Pop Blossom onto Cuz. They know exactly who they want. Bailout not going to connect. Flash. And aiming has to flash to get out. Lehens going to do the same thing. The Zap is going to be blocked by the Renata side. JDG just uh, wasting a lot of his time here. Kanavi moving in as well. Knights on the way. Yeah, there is the handshake, but it doesn't actually stop it. Teleports to come in. Lehens is trying to bail himself out, but it does not work. And now Knights looking for the opportunity. Cease and assist on a BDD, and he gets picked up by the Pop Blossom. Has to flash. Moonlight Vigil is going to oh! miss! And Amin cannot find it. BDD is now running for the hills. He needs a dissonance if he wants to get out of this one. Dodges this. KT start this up, trying to equalize the Dragon score. Should mean with the man advantage that KT have. Oh, never mind. Missing is still just diving into the back of this pit. But he isn't here yet. is being charged. There it is. All oh, the secure does come through from Lehens. Missing not going to quite find the engage he was looking for, though. Cuz going very, very low. It's a hex soul. This is going to be a big one, but the fight is still going. Keen turns up. Missing's trying to get out with the grand entrance. Keen, can he find an angle? The answer is no. And Missing just traipses his way out of that one. And the entire time. Tech rift. Both for like champions like Aatrox and Nico and the Renekton can be a really big boon as KT are looking to contest. Yeah, it's a five man unit here from KT. Lehens looking for the avenue, doesn't get it with nice. the handshake as they're giving up on nice. Shades. Nice. Fights four into the back line and now missing. He's going to layer that CC, aiming lands some damage, but it's not going to save this massacre from JDG. BDD's going to flash, but 369 is still looking for more and JDG win another team fight. Knights says BDD, you had your moment in the last game. Might have a bit of a moment now as Kanavi. Yeah, what? Kanavi gonna go back oh, in. No way! Oh, no way! Of course he's flashing in! That used to be the ruler position. This time he's taking names. And it's JDG taking down KT. They get the Rift Herald. They get the fight. They get the mid lane tower. JDG have come alive in game two. And it's Knight that- Gonna go over to JDG here. Kanavi getting some free time with it. And something we haven't already yeah, discussed. Lads, push in mid, set up your vision on whatever side of the map you want to start taking these towers. You can take that. Unlocking hex flash. I like it. Yeah, yeah good point. Got to make sure you will be quickly working up towards that rapid fire cannon. Ruler is poised to take over this game. And nice. Trying to see if he can take over against BDD. Yeah, another shockwave to come through here from BDD as Pop Blossom comes down. BDD might just be okay with it. Super Mega Death Rocket will be avoided. And now the clockwork wind up. Can he find the attack? There it is. And 369, he wants to get this kill over He's to running. Roller. He's running as fast as his little legs can carry him. But it's Kanavi that is going to end up taking his move to a cal Calibrum for some extra range. And now KT, oh. there in a choke point. The charm's too massive from the quickness. It's BDD is not going to get bailed out of this one. 369 locks down the first kill, and they are just running them over. Keen is trying to be a blender, but he's just getting blended. Cuz gets out of there, but that is four for JDG, and they look unstoppable. From JDG is the second time now where KT, they try to get that position, but with having control of the map, which we expected to see from JDG coming into the series today. Having control over the lanes, playing around this city. Pick yourself apart, and KT are trying their damnedest to get resources onto Amian as he's going to clear out this top wave tower. But it means that you're going to lose almost everything here on the bottom half of the map. Yeah. They are just going to be able to take down this inner turret. Inner in the mid lane also uh -oh. falling as aiming versus 369. Don't like your chances aiming, and he's just going to be put in the Doesn't ground. Doesn't even flash. He's like, close. nope. Yeah. yeah, no, I think he knew it. Uh, as these inhibitor turrets are going to follow suit. Keen looking for some sort of opportunity to keep himself alive, but he's just getting torn apart. Kanavi once again just queuing forward. He is not afraid of anything. Shockwave going to be avoided. Pop Blossom onto three. And I think this one's done and dusted. An instant triple kill here for Ruler. And he will still keep himself alive. These inhibitors go down. They've got powered up minions. And I think in 26 minutes, GDG will fight back and they'll fight back hard. It's a best of three, boys. What a performance from JDG in game number two.
playing off of lane stage well, playing the map. With